I hope you're listening closely, because if you are, you're going to be hearing the sounds of the Podcast Whisperer. David Allen challenges you to learn what it takes to be a world-class podcaster, because everyone has a story to tell. Hello, and welcome to the Podcast Whisperer. My name is David Allen, and (laughs) just play the intro. And this is Review for Two, a podcast where we review video games that are fun to play with somebody else or while sitting on the couch while somebody's playing them. They're particularly good to play with someone that you are also dating. Exactly, which is what we are doing. That is an accurate description of our current status. Welcome, listeners. Let's just dive right in. So I'm reviewing Review for Two. I love this show, it's so cute. It's so campy, it's so cute, it's just like, they, they they have the best chemistry I think I've ever heard between two co-hosts before, whether they're dating or not, which in the beginning of the intro they kind of alluded to that they were, but it's just great, I think it's, it's so wonderful, it's so light-hearted too, you know, they're not taking things seriously, I love the pre-intro before the intro, that sounds like this. I don't think we have ever recorded this with the laundry machine on because that's a lot of ambient noise in the background you think i know what it i know what silence looks like and that's not what silence looks what like. what should we do should we turn off the washing machine yeah because we're not gonna wait like six hours to do this podcast yeah all right let's turn it off that's such a great pre-intro to the intro and every show has something different on it and that just happened to be episode number eight the apex legends apparently that's one of the things that they reviewed and they did such a great job with it the shows usually last anywhere from 24 to 34 minutes, so it's kind of bite-sized information, which is great. And the artwork is just absolutely fabulous. It's a heart with review for two with some game paddles in there. So if you're a gamer, you would know that. I'm not much of a gamer, but my husband is. And I do. I can relate to this podcast because they said that it's not only people who want to play these games, but it's also for people who are watching the games, which I happen to do a lot of when my husband plays games. So that's why I picked this podcast, because it's such a cool, relatable subject. I mean, because I, again, I'm not much of a gamer myself, but sitting here watching him, that has to be entertaining for both of us as well. So let's talk about the intro part of this show. It was great. It, it had the, the prelude to it. Um, not necessarily a bit from the show, but I think that's even more hysterical. They were talking about, you know, the, the washer being in the background. And I would like to know, I do have a question for one of the hosts. How do you know what silence looks like? I, I can't see silence. Can you? Did you see that? That was silence. (laughs) But anyway, that was great. I love the little banter between the both of them because, again, it just adds so much to the show. And then they even have like a point-counterpoint system, which is great because they were reviewing this Apex Legends. And uh, just take a listen. It's just not for me. I will play it with friends. I will play a few rounds. But for the most part, I'm not going to be the one who is saying, hey, you guys want to go play Apex tonight. Not my game. Yeah, I love this game. I really like it. I was a fan of Fortnite. When I first started playing Fortnite, I didn't really want to like it. I was kind of like, uh, this is just so popular and it's for like five-year-old boys. But I really liked it and this just has a lot more to do. So like I said before, we played the clip. It's the point-counterpoint system. He clearly didn't like this, the game, but she absolutely loved it. And to be honest with you, I, I again, it's all Greek to me, what they're talking about with the loadouts and the games and things like that. But it's still interesting to me. It, it, it holds my attention because it's the point-counterpoint. He doesn't like it. She kind of likes it. Kind of makes me want to check it out. And again, the comical banter back and forth with these two is just absolutely amazing. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> wow, if there's one Why thing... Why is it so much louder? Um... Oh, I mean, I got a little closer. That could have been it. Well, this should be okay then. Dramatically uh, (laughs) blows tea. I need tea. It's freezing in here. About eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you in eight hours. We'll see you in eight hours. Um, So now that you're back from your eight hours of play, we can chat about it. Do you want to give your review first? Sure. I would love to give my review. What? That was very formal. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to maintain a higher standard of podcastingdom. Pod- podcastery. Podcast- castification. Okay, alright, just go. <clears throat> 
the audio quality is absolutely amazing. Um, so they clearly know what they're doing. So let's talk about the intro. You know, they have uh, not a bit, but something funny to kind of draw you in. You know, normally I'm a big fan of of the bits from the show, but I feel like in this instance with these two, because the chemistry is so great, you don't need to take something from the show. They make up something in the beginning, and it draws you in. It's like, what what the hell am I listening to? The second part of that is their intro music is great. It's not too long. So you have about a five, maybe seven second intro, and then they talk right over the bed of music, which is awesome. Thank you for that. Finally, a podcaster that gets how important intros are and how to draw in people. Again, not a gamer here, but I'm loving the show. Let's take a listen. Yeah, I think that that is a really good way to kill people. I also really like wounding people with their own weapon. So when they had a gun, just yanking it out of their hands and hitting them in the head with it, because that just seemed really like justice to me. Mm, yeah. It seemed really good. Also, very fun, but rather impractical, was hitting someone with a tripwire so that they tripwired into someone else, and it just <laughs> yes. did the thing where they like bungee corded and smacked into each other. It was good. It was fun. That Not was as good. useful, but still pretty fun. Yeah, I like that a lot. So in that clip, they were talking about Marvel's Spider-Man, which is episode one, actually. So that's pretty great. And looking at their episodes, they, it looks like they launched January 12th, 2019. And it looks like a weekly show because it's 23rd, 30th, then February 6th, 13th, and so on. So the only thing they didn't do was release the three episodes, which is fine. I mean, in this niche, it's it's kind of okay. The show as a whole is actually very impressive. I really enjoy the audio quality, as as I've mentioned. I love the artwork, the review for two artwork. Um, I know that they are only on episode eight right now, so that's great. I mean, they're doing it. It's great. The only thing I would recommend at this point, just to kind of improve it a little bit, is when I was listening to your episodes, I noticed that you guys keep jumping to topic to topic, which is great. But you kind of lose a lot of the listeners by doing that. So I would recommend transitioners between topics. Sort of something like this. Also very fun, but rather impractical, was hitting someone with a tripwire so that they tripwired into someone else. And it just <laughs> yes. did the thing where they like bungee corded and smacked into each other. It was good. It was fun. That Not was as good. useful, but still pretty fun. If you could date any of Spidey's villains... Who would it be? I have a list of all the villains. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. So, and you you were questioning this list earlier, so... I played the same clip for you earlier, and I just... All I did was throw in a transitioner between where she said, um, and okay, so this list is really long. So, just being mindful of that, because you're about to change a subject, you're about to change the conversation piece, so let your your listeners know that you're doing that. And by doing that, adding a simple sound effect, as I did, doesn't have to be very long. It could be a second, two seconds, just something to break up that monotony to kind of regain their attention. Because if you're rambling and you're rambling and you're rambling, you're going to lose them. Because even though the content may be interested, they, it might be interesting to them, but it's not interesting to everybody. So to hold their, you know, we live in a society where everybody is ADD. So just keep that in mind. We're in a society, especially myself. It's hard for me to listen to rambling, 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 even though I'm learning something about that particular subject. So other than that, excellent show. I highly recommend the show. I think it's great. I love it. Everything you guys are doing is great. Your social media presence is great. Everything's wonderful. And, and thank you so much for submitting it. If you would like to submit your show to the Podcast Whisperer, myself, David Allen, you can do so by going to reviewmypod.com. Fill out the form there, and maybe I will select your show. And you can hear us every Friday right here or anywhere you listen to your podcasts. Until next time, my friends, happy potting. <laughs>